Today I'm super excited to show you my first match back in a professional event in over four months. For my first tournament, I'm here in Greece at the 15Ks in Heraklion with my friend James. So let's take a look at how the day went and how I got on. Because I was first on, I had a quick breakfast and I got straight into the gym for my warm up at around 7.45. We wanted to have a hit at around 8 o'clock in the morning just when the practice course were allocated to us to make sure that we were having a hit before my match. In the gym, I did a usual warm up with bands, stretching, injury prevention exercises and some mobility, getting the full range of exercises done in a shorter space of time since it was quite early in the morning, but making sure that I was being thorough, making sure that I was warm and making sure that I was ready to go and that I didn't have any, you know, sore areas or bits where I wasn't really putting 100% in. Once I got on court with James, I think my main aim was pretty simple. Hit a lot of balls, make sure I felt comfortable with moving around the ball. It was, you know, obviously sunny, it was slightly windy, so just getting used to those conditions, feeling the ball, you know, doing some volleys, doing some baseline work, doing some serves, doing some returns and doing a few kind of condition points was also good just to get the, the eyes and the feet moving together and making sure that I was ready to be competitive and obviously getting ready to play my first match. I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to do so I was just making sure that I was trying to prepare myself in the best way possible, go out there with a really strong mindset and go out and win my first match. I think that was definitely what was going through my head, trying not to overcomplicate it. Overall the warm up lasted around 30 to 40 minutes as a hit which gave me about 20 to 30 minutes just to prepare before my match. I like to get a full hit in so I feel nice and warm and nice and ready, but obviously it's not too intense to the point where I'm getting fatigued. I also filmed this after my match, but just to let you guys know exactly what I was thinking before I went on. So before I play a match, I'll usually go somewhere quiet like this. I'll put some music on, I'll try and get in my headspace. I'm obviously filming this after my match because I don't like to have any cameras on me or be interrupted during this time. So I'll just go through kind of what I was thinking. I was trying to say to myself, you know, to be confident, be aggressive with my shots, have the right intentions. Me and Ashley have been working specifically on trying to, you know, utilize certain parts of my game and do certain things. And it might not work for the first few matches. It might take a bit of time to get used to, but that's definitely part of the process of improving and getting better. So I'm super excited to be back on court and competing competing again so you know there's going to be some rusty parts of the game just all it's all part of the learning process and getting back to competing and playing to compete for ATP points at the end of the day and yeah I went into the match with a really good mindset a positive fighting spirit and I wanted to fight for every single point every single game go out there and get the first win of the season so to begin this match I was playing a Greek player I think he was 16 years old so was this was his first ITF match so I knew I had you know a year's worth of experience on him on the future circuit so I knew that, um, you know, from that perspective, uh, both of us were going to be nervous, which was uh, obviously fun. And my main focus from the beginning of this match was to, you know, be consistent, put balls in court, really try and use my forehand, utilize my forehand, you know, see what he's got in the locker, try and test him, move him around, you know, see what his forehand's like, his backhand's like, his slices like, serve returns, all of that type of stuff. So I can start building a strategy of pretty much how to beat him. As you can see here, I got 40-15 in my first service game, which is obviously a good confidence boost. I think that, you know, he was making a few unforced errors, which I could tell, you know, I need to try and utilize making a lot of balls in court and making him play. He did have a very good serve. From this camera angle, it's quite difficult to see actually how fast and how high over the net the ball is traveling. But his serve did get quite a lot of pop on it. So I knew that, especially on the returns, I've got to just be careful and try and get in the right position. There were actually a few of you guys who came to watch the match, so thank you to anyone that turned up. Um, obviously, it was a super nice court. This the centre court at the the venue, so it did have a kind of stadium going around the outside. So at some point, a lot of people were were kind of watching, which was great for an atmosphere to get the kind of the pump going for me. Um, so I was really enjoying myself out on the court, even from the beginning of the match. And as you can see here, kind of the first juice. Uh, opportunity managed to take it on my first game point which is great and very good for the confidence as well there are a few you know tight points quite early on so just making sure that I'm getting some good depth and trying to be confident and uh, you know assertive trying to get on the forehand as much as possible but being solid with the backhand you know those were the two main things I was focusing on and from the beginning of this match I actually felt very good my arm didn't really feel like it was in any pain uh, I was hitting the ball pretty solidly making a lot of balls uh, so I was pretty happy with how I was you know starting this match and I definitely think that I had the, the right mindset going into it. And uh, I tried to carry that momentum forwards and try and pull off a break, which I ended up uh, doing, as you saw. So, you know, 3-1 on serve, first set. I felt pretty good and hopefully I can keep that momentum going.
As you can see there at 30 love, really trying to crunch that forehand down the line. Once I'm 30 love up, you know, it gave me some confidence to try and let loose a little bit. You know, I've been working with Ashley to really hit my shots and, you know, go for it on the points, especially with the forehand, the backhand, when it comes a bit shorter, try and transition into the net, build a more aggressive game. And as you can see there, really working at the beginning of this match and, um, you know, going four and up quite quickly gave me some very good confidence. And, you know, that was translating into the return games and also obviously the serve games. So, you know, keeping that, keeping that confidence high, piling the pressure on was one of my main focuses. But obviously the player that I'm playing is also very good. I think he won the Greek National Championships. Uh, the kind of the week before this for, for under 16s I think it was um, we, we had a conversation after the match and so you know he's no pushover so he's definitely going to fight back he's going to come back stronger in this match he's never going to let up and uh, you know one thing I was really you know impressed by was his fighting spirit you know never you know when he was forward love down he never gave me anything um, so I definitely think that you know he was hanging on so I had to make sure that I was always staying focused you know these ITF matches can swing very very quickly so just staying confident staying focused and um, you know just trying to squeeze out every opportunity to to get ahead That return travels long and I go 5-2 up in this first set, feeling confident, feeling on the front foot. And I just left that shot there for him to get his service game. So, um, you know, being a little bit too cautious, I thought that ball was going to travel long. So serving it out at 5-3 here for an opportunity to take the first set. Again, trying to be confident, be aggressive, and that seemed to be working for a lot of these points. So I definitely felt in control um, at this point in the match. but I wanted to make sure that I wasn't giving him any opportunities to come forward and be aggressive like that because when he did come forwards, he was playing extremely well. So 40-30 here, first set point. My aim here, well, I think, was just to be consistent. I said to myself, look, just make balls in court get it past the service line, put him under a little bit of pressure and you know he's eventually going to miss. I felt at this point that I was getting some very good rhythm and that I felt confident and he obviously went for the shot and they ended up taking the first set 6-3 uh, which gave me again a lot of confidence. It's something I'm mentioning a lot but I think it's very important especially having not played a match for four months uh, at all at any level um, to take the small wins until you really take you know, pride in the fact that you're not only on court and competing, but also the fact that, you know, I'm, I'm winning points, I'm being competitive and I've won the first set, which is obviously a super positive thing. As you can see here, getting a break very early on. So just, just using that and making sure that I'm enjoying myself on court, that I'm, you know, using the right strategies and having the right mindset, I think is super important, winning or losing. Of course, here, I'm a set and two love up, so it's easy to say, but I think, you know, once it gets a little bit more, you know, once you start losing some points, it's very easy to get frustrated and upset, especially, you know, not playing to the highest level that you'd expect, which is obviously natural, like that backhand, for example, straight after a surgery uh, or the first match after a surgery. So it's just hitting more tennis balls and being really confident in, in the stroke and, you know, just being on court for a more amount of hours, which will come over time. Uh, as you can see here, my opponent playing a good service game, going up 40 love, just trying to slightly overpress from my perspective. Uh, but I'm still up a break on serve, just trying to really 
you know, run away with the set almost a bit like I did in the first set and try not to give my opponent kind of any opportunities to come back. You can see here kind of rallying high with spin with the forehand, trying to be nice and aggressive. I think I was getting a little bit kind of complacent, I would say, being up a set and 2-1, usually at the start of the second set sometimes. Uh, you can, you know, lose your concentration slightly. So I just tried to, to refocus. Um, I think that this was one of the parts of the match where I felt my opponent was starting to play more consistently. Obviously, you're only seeing the, the highlights here, but he was putting him under a little bit more pressure and I was starting to, to kind of leak a few more loose errors. So, you know, I, I could tell that this was my dip, so I had to try and find a way mentally of, of minimizing that and trying to minimize the errors I was making. Um, as you can see there, he broke back, so it was two all in this this second set, and so it's back to back to level level terms. And he's you know hitting aces, being really confident again. So you know mentally, this was one of the moments where I said to myself, look, just just really try and hang on, try and find a way of winning this service game, even if you know you're forty fifteen down, uh, which I didn't. But I said, look, this game is super important. I'm two three down. I've lost three games in a row. This is where I've really got to you know win this game, break his momentum, otherwise. I'm really going to be in some serious trouble with him serving at 4-2. And so I said to myself that, you know, I really need to be consistent, be solid, make sure I'm hitting the ball and every opportunity I get to come in and close it at the net, I'm going to take it. I scramble up to that drop shot and manage to hold my serve to go four to go three all. And again, I was back with it. I had a bit of the momentum on my side and I was super, you know, pumped actually. You know, I got out of that little weak spot, I wanna say. And I've got myself to 30 all in this service game. I really crunched the return. And that was a really positive moment, you know, especially for him serving to my forehand. I definitely think probably, you know, I had a bit more confidence returning on that side and getting that good depth on the backhand, stepping up with the forehand and approaching. Sometimes the approach shot doesn't need to be right in the corner. Sometimes it can just be you know, hard and deep enough to put your opponent under pressure for them to miss. And that's just, I was doing just enough at this point because I really didn't want to give him any loose errors, just coming off of a little dip. He managed to thread the needle nearly and I just thought I, it was going in, so I touched it, which gave him a, a game point opportunity here. And uh, yeah, this was quite a long game. I think probably around five, 10, I think maybe more 10 minutes and um, you know managing to get out of it and break his serve so I'm on serve here at 4-3 and that as you can see there I just have a little bit of a spring in my step I'm really moving well I'm jumping up to the ball taking the opportunities to try and hit some winners and um, you know I thought that was a real turning point in this match you can see I'm hitting my serve better I got 5-3 uh, similarly to in the this first set where you know I was up uh, and he held serve and then I was trying to serve for the set I'm now going to be forced to serve for the match as my opponent serves and volleys. Now, I'll let you guys enjoy this game. This was probably one of the tightest games I've ever played, trying to hold serve. And um, yeah, remains to be seen whether I won it.
it was very, very close. Um, it was too close to call, and you know he obviously had a break point chance from that. So that was one of the moments mentally where I said to myself, "Don't let it affect you. Try and really bounce back from that." You know, call. Um, whether it was in or out doesn't really matter. Uh, it looked out on the replay, but obviously I thought it was in at the time. So, you know, this point was really just trying to find a way. I get lucky with the net cord there, should have put that one away. And just absolutely hustling in this point. Going backhand up the line, that was a tough shot, and then putting the smash, and he just misses it wide, giving me another opportunity at juice. But this is really the marathon game, testing both physically uh, and mentally. That forehand, though, working well, giving me another match point. And that one, I do take the match and my first win of the season. Great to start off Road 20 to P-Point Season 2 with a win and I was super pumped as you can tell by this reaction. Let's go! Let's go! Oh my god, what a match. So, first match of 2023 and I won. I like the sound of that. So I'll just run through my quick thoughts of the match. I'm sure you guys saw the last game was an absolute marathon of a game and I got very, very, very tight. I will show you some of the points that I lost because, you know, I think it's part of the match, part of the game. Yeah, overall, I'm really, really happy with my performance. I think the first set and a half was really, really strong. I then went through an inevitable dip. I think what I was doing well before was taking the ball early, you know, coming up, hitting the ball. I think what I was doing very well before was just being aggressive, taking the ball, dictating the terms of the match. I think I then got a little bit nervous, a little bit passive. I thought I was, you know, trying to win or, or I was trying to win a little bit too much. Um, he then obviously came back in the match and I got really, really nervous. I was just pushing the ball a bit too much. I was doing what I kind of did last year, making stupid mistakes, being hesitant. Of course, I can't expect too much having not really played a match for three, four months. I knew I, I, knew I was going to be rusty. So I just said to myself, really try and be mentally strong, try and find a way of problem solving my way out of this. And I cannot let him, once he got those three games in a row to 2-1, 2-2, two, 3-2 two, two, two him, I cannot give him that fourth game because then this total momentum slide. I managed to win that game. I managed to fight back to 4-3 up and then eventually get it to me on serve. And uh, yeah, you know the rest. Uh, that was a mad match. Um, yeah, I'm overall so happy with my performance. Um, I think I did a really good job of, you know, staying strong mentally, um, finding a way of, you know, winning the match on my terms, dictating the points of play. And you make your own luck because in the next round, I was supposed to play the seed number one in qualies, Marlon, a German guy who I'm friends with. Instead, he got a place in the main draw. So now I've got a buy into the final round of qualies, which not only means I'm in the final round of qualies, it also means I get a day off tomorrow to rest after a, you know, a long match, which is great for my body, great for my arm. But yeah, I couldn't have really asked for a better start. I'm going to go stretch, eat, recover, get some ice on my arm because that's desperately needed. I'm feeling a bit <laughs> worn after that match. Um, and yeah, let's just keep moving forward let's qualify for the main draw and let's get this ATP point. Let's go. So obviously I was super excited with the win, but straight after the match, I knew I was going to be playing the next day. So I had to get some recovery in. I basically went uh, and tried to find one of the coldest swimming pools at the venue, which hadn't been heated and basically stand in it for four to five minutes to really get that vasoconstriction of the blood vessels, which is going to be great for recovery. I managed to find a pool and it was very cold, not quite as cold as an ice bath, but it did the job. I also did some stretching and had a chat to Ashley on the phone after my match to explain how it went. And obviously we go through each match by reviewing the footage together. So I might put part of that in next week's video.